Hey guys, so today we have this MacBook Air in here, A1466. Um, customer brought it in, it's completely dead. There's no signs of life, no charge. Um, they just had it, uh, they had brought it to um, Geek Squad or Best Buy and they uh, didn't know what the problem was, so the customer uh, brought it here for us to look at. Um, I'm gonna switch to the overhead camera view here. Um, so with the battery disconnected, uh, we plug in uh, MagSafe, we have no light, no fan spin, and we're drawing around 120 milliamps right off the bat, so that tells me there's um, some kind of short on the board somewhere. Um, just show you here. Yeah, so no signs of life, not charging and we're pulling an immediate 125 milliamps. So first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pull the board out of the housing. All right, so now we have the board pulled out of the housing. I'm inspecting the board here. Looks perfect. There's no signs of any kind of liquid damage or corrosion anywhere on the board. Just had a quick glance. I'm going to connect a known good flex and I.O. board and we're going to test and see if it's still drawing 125 milliamps. So we have the exact same symptoms with the board pulled from the housing, so that isolates the problem to the board. Alright, so with MagSafe connected and the board pulled from the housing, we have the exact same symptoms that isolates the problem to the main board. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab thermal camera and see if we can actually see the heat source of the 125 milliamps on the board. Alright, so we have our thermal camera on. I'll switch to the thermal view. Alright, so this is our thermal view. I'm going to connect power to our board. See if we can identify where the 125 milliamps are going. All right, so we found our short. It is directly on um, SMC. All right, so I'll switch back over to the microscope view. Or sorry, overhead view, get the board. All right, so our short is right here on SMC. Let's take a look. Got a hint of corrosion on that cap near SMC. Let's take some readings. We identify a full short here. And here. I'm going to pull up the schematics. So this is our SMC. Just going to rotate it. Alright. So we have a short on PP one V one S five SMC V D D C which I think makes sense because we saw the heat coming from this section of SMC. I'll try with freeze spray. See if we can get a more exact location of the short.
All right, so in this case, before we go removing SMC, uh, we know that there is a small amount of corrosion on this cap outside of it, right here. So I'm gonna try to first remove that cap because that actually might be the problem. Just because SMC is heating up does not mean that the SMC itself is short. It could be this cap on that line. Yeah, this cap is not in good shape. I can't even test it because it lost the Lost its end. Okay. Now that the cap is removed, let's test this uh, this line again. Let's see. So the short is in fact removed. So the problem was this cap. All right. Let's get turn on a fume extractor here. We're just going to install a new cap. Shorts removed, switch to the overhead view here. Plug in MagSafe. So we have green light and we have fan spin. So now the next thing we're gonna do here is put this board back in the housing and test and see if we can get to the login screen. We have everything hooked up for testing here. Plug in a uh, MagSafe. Got the green light. Let's listen for a chime. We got a chime. Got our Apple logo. And we've booted straight to the login screen. Cool. So, to recap, this machine came in completely dead. Um, we noticed we were drawing 125 milliamps right off the bat, which told us there's a short somewhere on the board. Using thermal camera, we identified the short on PP 1v1 S5 SMC VDDC. The SMC was lighting up. We didn't go straight in and pull off SMC though. We found a cap outside of it that corroded, so we removed it, and sure enough, that was the culprit. So now, um, this computer is fully repaired, we can get it assembled and back to the customer. Thanks for watching.